Creating original captions within Caption Hub is really easy to do. All you need to begin working within Caption Hub is a video. So to get started, you'll need to import your first video into Caption Hub. And you can do so here directly via the UI by selecting New Project From. This allows you to import a local file or media URL, or you can import a video via one of our available video connectors. These integrations do require setting up and really vary by customer. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead with a local file that I have available on my desktop. Once I've dropped that MP4 in, I can go ahead and give my project a name. I can assign it any tags I need. And there's some advanced options here that allow me to assign things like notes specific to my project, speaker ID, where relevant. I can assign a due date that calls out when this project needs to be completed by, and so on. Once I've applied any and all relevant advanced options and information with this video, I'll go ahead and select Create Project. Doing so is going to upload your video to Caption Hub, re-encode it, and make it ready for use as the basis for creation of your captions, and later on, subtitles. It'll take just a few moments for us to process the video, and you'll see that my video is now ready to be captioned. You want to select Create Caption, and you'll see here that you're presented with a series of options. Auto Transcription will automatically create captions for you using speech-to-text recognition in combination with Caption Hub's proprietary Natural Captions technology. Together, we process that transcript into perfectly aligned, human-readable captions. Use Import Transcript to import a text file into Caption Hub and you can use speech recognition technology to automatically align this transcript to make captions on line breaks or on sentence breaks. When you've already generated a transcript, you can upload time text and really use this as a starting point for your translation. Of course, you can also go about this manual way by uploading blank captions. We generally recommend this to customers who have videos that are 30 seconds or less and really have the bandwidth to manually transcribe their videos. My captioning method will be auto-transcribe. This is our most popular option for creating captions. I'll go ahead and select Next. I need to ensure that you select the accurate source language of your video, in this case, English UK. You can upload a custom dictionary, should you wish. And there are some advanced options that allow you to make edits with regard to your caption limits. Once I've confirmed any additional options, I'll go ahead and select Submit. Doing so will send an audio file to our speech recognition provider to create these captions automatically, and they'll soon appear on screen. I can see that my captions are now ready here under this status window, and I can check them out by selecting here. Here are my captions on screen. We're now in what we refer to as the editor view, and this is where I have access to display of my video and a preview of what my captions will look like. I'm going to go ahead and hit play so that you can see my captions play in real time against my content. My name is Will Butler Adams, and I'm CEO of Brompton Bicycle. Within the caption editor, you'll be able to change caption, text, and timing, as well as provide review and approve functionality. 